All right, gang, Jason here for the love of trackers. Gonna do a little, uh, let's call it farm toy display detailing tip, I guess. Um, one of the things that really makes a farm toy display are the little details that a lot of people may not even notice. But if they weren't there and you compared them to them being done, uh, I think a lot of people would see the difference or at least acknowledge that, hey, some, something was done here that's made this pop, that's made this look cool. And that's what I'm going to try to do today. And I say try because this will be my first attempt at this on gravel. <clears throat> I've done it on uh, the blacktop road over on the Dogtown Farms display, but we're over here on Dogtown Ag. What I want to do is I kind of want to make, let's call it roots, in the gravel that uh, look like uh, things have been going over them. So that means uh, making little paths, and I'm going to use my pastel chalks for this. Now, these you can get at a lot of hobby stores, uh, Hobby Lobby particularly, probably Michael's, places like that, or you can go and find them online, I'm sure. Um, you can get sets with various colors. I like this because these are really great for weathering. Um, you know, because you obviously you, you kind of got rust. You've got different colors of dirt and mud and all of that. Now, I'm actually going to try this white first. Um, we'll see how it works. And uh, if it doesn't work, well, we'll try something different here. So uh, I kind of wanted to do this a little bit today to almost show um, that there's there's some experimentation that goes along with making a lot of farm toy displays. Now, I'm sure the guys that have been doing this forever just go right to their go-to technique. I mean, I've been doing it forever, but um, go right to their go-to technique, and that's that. Um, but I kind of like to play around with new techniques and new materials and new ideas, and sometimes that means I just kind of have to experiment. So what I'm doing there, I don't know how you can see that, is I'm just taking a little file and I'm just shaving a little chalk off of that stick there. So, now what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna dip my brush in. Now right now, I'm not using anything to attach this down. Now later, we may want to spray some isopropyl alcohol and uh, a little bit of white glue. So, let's just, I don't know, let's just bring this over here. And this may take a while to show up because, oh, that's actually gonna show up really quickly. Um, a little better than I thought it would right off the bat. But boy, is that going to take a lot of chalk to get that to do what I need it to do, which is okay. But, so the idea here, it's almost a little bright. Hmm. We'll see when we get it finished, or when we get a couple tracks finished, if we like that or not. But what I'm wanting to do is just make it look like a path that has been driven over a bunch. So that the gravel is compressed, you're maybe getting a little more of that chalky lime uh, showing up rather than the actual gravel itself and things of that nature. Now, you can kind of see that. Now what I'm going to do, um, well, first and foremost is I'm going to have to shave us off some more chalk. So again, I'll just I'll show you how I did that real quick. Yeah, this is, this is going to take a lot of chalk, which is okay. Chalk, this is inexpensive, so um, not a big deal. Anyway, just shaving that off. And now I think I think I'm gonna just again, we're experimenting here. I'm gonna put a little bit of this like peachy tan in there. Not a lot. And then I might put I don't know, I don't I might put just a little bit of my lighter brown, but not much. And just to <coughs> excuse me, give it a tone, <coughs> as you can tell. Still fighting pneumonia. <laughs> it's, it's not been a fun few weeks. Now, another thing I want to do is I want to place my truck here. We're just going to use a dually driver, and this gets the track width the way I want it, uh, or at least more accurate. And I'll probably do the same thing with a tractor or two later as well. I'm just, I'm just grabbing my chalk mixture there and putting it in there 
like so. Okay, I can move this guy now because we've kind of got that figured out. I did get a little heavy right behind him, but I think I can just spread that with my brush. A little bit there. Maybe that's a maybe that's a puddle or something. Or it used to be or was or you know like a little pothole if you will. Now as I'm coming this way <clears throat> towards the road, I'm actually doing it a little less because you can see we've got some fresher gravel up here. So my thoughts are this is this gravel's been relayed, maybe it washed, uh, maybe the uh, county or state came through and redid that culvert but it's a fresher gravel look so I'm making it just a little lighter like the gravel's doing its thing a little better now I think what we want is we're gonna assume that this guy is gonna turn and kind of head in front of the shop he's gonna drop off parts or whatever needs be so now we've got to kind of make this turn Ooh, i've got some i've got some gravel there that is not stuck down which is kind of odd because i doused this pretty good with my mixture i may have to hit that again with some mixture actually i'm looking at it hmm, interesting i definitely need more chalk again just scraping that into my tray I'm just, I don't know, that's not showing up so hot. I'm not gonna do this number. And I am gonna add a little bit more of this, you know, tanny peach color, because I did like the way that looked. And not much though, don't want a whole lot. And then we'll do the same thing here, just again. Ooh, that was a bunch. And I'm getting older. I'm just, I'm like, again, just experimenting with my colors. But if we don't like it, we can always redo it, we can recover it, we can take this up. That's one great thing, um, except for over here where my gravel isn't stuck so good right there for some reason. I can always vacuum this chalk up if I need to. Ooh. I need to turn you a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I just got some spots there where the gravel did not stay too well. That's interesting. And I hadn't noticed that before today, but I haven't, I guess I haven't put a lot of vehicles or anything in that spot here for a while. So, I don't know, what do you think? I'm almost thinking it's a little too bright here in a few spots. It sure seems like it to me. So let's see. If we can't tone that down just a little bit, maybe. Keep moving things around. I apologize for being a little goofy and disorganized, if you will. I'm just gonna use some of this, I don't know, clay looking color. And I am gonna just mix in a little bit more of this tan. I'm just liking the hue that that's giving me. Uh, I don't know how well that's actually showing up on camera, but I'm liking what it's doing. Just pop that in there, just to tone that, there we go, yeah, liking that. Again, I don't know how all that's showing on camera, but it's just toning down that super bright spot enough. Oh yeah, I like that a lot. That, that looks really good. That's kind of mission accomplished. I want to fade this in a little bit here. Another another bright spot. Basically, where I first started uh, was just a little too white. And we just want to tone that down here. All right. So I don't know, guys. What do you think of that? Um, again, so let me know below because now from this angle, it looks a little too white to me again. But let's pop back out a little bit and just see. Yeah, it's almost standing out a little too much. So uh, we're coming up on 10 minutes in this video, but maybe real quick, real quick here, I will 
try to tone that down a little bit more. What do you guys think? If you guys are still hanging on by this point in the video, appreciate it. Again, we're just having, having a little fun working here on the display, so. I haven't been able to do a whole lot of work lately. I've, I had pneumonia for a month, and then I think you guys know about the bigger health issues that I've been facing here, and uh, it's been a challenge, and I just kind of apologize to everybody for being a little slow with everything, quite frankly. It's not, not good, but it's unfortunately me dealing with it. I'm, I'm just trying to hodgepodge of stuff right here, because <clears throat> why not? It's our farm. We can do whatever we want, and now I'm going to mix it together. Yeah, we're gonna get this nice. I get a little bit of white in there. I get a little bit of. I'm kind of liking this uh, this look here. Let's let's just see how that goes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's that's more of what I'm after. I hope that's showing up on camera. <clears throat> that's that's perfect. Holy cow. Yeah, that's that's good because that's blending with my gravel, so it's looking pretty natural. Like I think if uh, I were doing a gravel road, maybe the original brighter white would have been fine. But I, I don't know where it's just a it's a parking lot here, or where it's our our drive-in. So we're gonna have trucks and equipment and all sorts of fun things coming through here. I feel like this is the better option. That looks so much better to me. But, I'm very curious to see what you guys think of that as well. Alright. Now. Yeah, that, that to me with the brown looks a lot better. The trail is still there. It's, it's showing up a little bit more on camera than it does with the naked eye, the, the trail does. Um, but in, in kind of person, it's really blending really well. Uh, I might maybe hit a few more spots. Like I'm kind of seeing some spots up in here that could use a little lighting or a little darkening. That are just standing out to me. But obviously, I, and I've got several of these tracks to go and... When I get this whole thing done, I'll post it over final picture or reel or something on Instagram or YouTube shorts or whatever. Um, but I just wanted to do a video and kind of show you my thought process and the technique I was going to use for this. So anyway, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Have yourselves an awesome day. Happy tractor hunting.